Susie's getting her makeup did. Of me and you, where you're just carrying. Um. Hen party. I think he's a little unstable there. <laughs> okay, here's the beautiful bride, Susie Cusy, ready to go. And I told her, I said, man, the way they did your eyes, your blue is just popping. It's so pretty. You look fantastic. And that's pretty too. Look at what she did. She did amazing. No, they did mine too. And it was funny because I had this... Um, the gal that did mine, she's Latina, and I said, oh yeah, I am too, I just don't look like it. So she used this bronzer on me that made me look a little more tan, and I was like, oh, I actually do feel more Hispanic, that was cool. <laughs> so it's the big day, yeah! And we are, um, we're getting ready to go out to Cedar Cove, we're gonna get there with plenty of time to just get there and get settled and anything that comes up last minute we'll just take care of it and uh i was like susie what are you gonna wear over there she's like oh i'm already wearing it she's just gonna wear this robe all day i got a sports bra i got shorts <laughs> who needs any more that she's like no i'm good she like gave me this shirt to borrow because i didn't bring a button-up shirt which because i'm not used to thinking about stuff like that but so i'm borrowing this shirt and then sean's with us too the lone wolf He's the only dude. I held Tibbs for most of the morning and kept he him did. out of makeup. Yeah. Yeah, he, <sighs> to, yeah, Sean ended up being on babysitting duty. There was two other little kids here and they kept like going up to Tibbs and Sean and like hanging out. So he's been very helpful today. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where to change him right this second. We're about to get oh, Tibbs dressed. Of everything. I have my dress on. Um, it's a little big. I'm trying to find safety pins to save it. We'll see what I can find. Yeah, it doesn't fit me very well. <laughs> but we're here. We're ready. Susie has her dress on. She's out with Eric right now taking first look photos. So cute. Trying to get Tibbs dressed so that I can get dressed. Good job coming here there. Oh, little buddy. I love you, Tibbs. So handsome. There's Eric over there, looking all spiffy. As a hot ginger right there. Yes. Look out. I'm very hot. <laughs> literally, he's literally hot. That's beautiful out here. How you doing? Come on. Tibbs has been making friends. We're on our way to do pictures out here. It's gorgeous out though, it's a little hot. Not too bad. Hey Susie, the vlog wants to see you. Hello, beautiful, vlog. beautiful, beautiful. Well, hi. I thought you were holding your stomach, not your dress. I was like, holding my what dress happened? up. It's long. You better not be pregnant hi, again. Sean, you look so handsome. Weird. Look at this. This tie is perfect with your eyes. Thank you. Nice. Ooh. Too bad you can't keep it. <laughs> push it. Get it. Yeah. Big Daddy. Oh, you like to see me hurt? You see the tigers over there, buddy? Oh, they see him. <laughs> this is gonna be really nice. Oh, it's so pretty. It is raining outside right now, so the whole wedding party is inside, and all the guests are over at the bathroom. We just decorated Eric's truck. Just married. And cat toys. Cat toys, cat toys. Can we get a picture in front of this side? Yeah. I don't really know. Oh, very nice. Very nice. My other lover is a cat. Yes, the cat toys are mine. I'm a genius. Generally kind of average somewhere around 60 pounds of meat every single week. So that's why they were like, hey, we can't really afford to keep them. Um, can you give them a new home? Can uh, you be able to make this happen? Yeah, do you see a cat? Say hi, cat. 
pretty, huh? I turned the camera on and the kids have been waving at this cat, going, hi, catty, hi, catty, hi, catty, and he stops because the camera's on. Pretty. Hi. Yeah, catty. Everybody's going on the tour. Uh, Nat is helping, uh, <clears throat> helping Susie change, and Eric's taking people on the tour, and I'm watching food. We just did toasts, and uh, yeah. It's, it was a good wedding. I'm very grateful we got to be here for it. Hey, you gonna join me? Oh, no, don't be nice. <laughs> I know that. You love me and then you get me. Not cool. Well, it's lovely, but I'm not gonna This one's, one's like going he crazy. I love the little girls ran by and he was like following it and it's like, I know what he wants. <laughs> I know you'll come for me tomorrow. Yeah, I know it. There are two cats right there, not just one. We have really had this land. Yeah, I think they do a good job. Yeah, I really do. 97. So we're going to those red boxes. That's what we're going to find out. How are you doing, Nettie? Good. She's going, where's the baby? <laughs> there he is. He has spent over an hour today just walking. This is how he spends, it's how he gets around now. He doesn't want to be carried and he doesn't want to crawl. He wants to walk yep. everywhere. Yep. But he still wants to hold at least one finger. He, quite often he doesn't even put my, any weight on my fingers anymore and he still wants to hold at least one. So, that's our kid. Basically, I went out for a hike one day, popped around a corner, ended up being about a, 10 feet away from a wild wolf. And both of us had the same facial expression, I'm sure, which was, oh crap. And he immediately turned around and ran away from me. He had no interest in me whatsoever. About the only time that wolves have ever attacked humans is because that human decided to go play with the babies. Don't do that with much of any animal. It's not a good idea. So basically though, unfortunately, people still went out and hunted these guys down. So because of that, they were extinct in the lower 48 states by 1929. They had nothing else to eat as well. But basically, luckily with the passage of the yeah, there's, Species Act, a lot of He's saying dog and pointing to the wolves. <laughs> so between 95 and 97, we it's were introduced dog. 41 yeah. wolves. Nowadays, we yes. fluctuate between 120 and 140 wolves and 9 and 13 packs in Yellowstone National Park. I'm a drop of This kid has gotten maybe two and a half hour, or 45 minutes out of his two and a half to three hours of sleep he normally gets every day. Not much napping, but he has been so good. Do it, do it. Give each other a bite. Do you really trust him? Susie, he's still gonna love you. He's still gonna love you. Chastising the cat at midnight. Yeah. Let me turn this off for a second. Since you want me to vlog you, yeah, that's really loud. <laughs> now I have like mascara. So tell, tell, tell us your thoughts. So I wanted the vlog to see me half with makeup and half without because 
Sean and I just had this really long conversation about, I said, Sean, what do you think of me in makeup? Because seriously, I like never wear makeup. I said, so what do you actually think of me in makeup? I said, honestly, I think you are more attractive to me without makeup. And then we had this really long discussion about it that was really good because we were both on the same page. I was like, you know what? I feel like as a woman, when I wear makeup, I'm supposed to feel like I'm prettier than I normally think of myself. Mm -hmm. But I think I don't like myself with makeup, especially not this much. This feels like a lot to me. She uses like bronzer stuff that kind of gives you this almost fake tan look. And for a while I was like, okay, I think I like this. Like, I think this looks nice. And then like the closer I got up to myself and looked, I was like, whoa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the texture of my skin is like not my my normal real skin. I was like, I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way my skin looks like this. Yeah. But I don't, I honestly don't think that most women think of themselves like that. Yeah. Where they actually, they think that themselves as more attractive without anything. Like, I think most women are just, we're wired to think like, oh, I'm wearing makeup, my confidence goes up, you know, like, mm -hmm. I feel better about myself, and I, I think I do for the beginning, and then the longer it's on, I'm like, okay, I'm so over this, like, when can yeah. I take this off? This is not me. Like, this isn't me, you know? Yeah. This is me. Nope. I think it's actually interesting, partly because Eric and I were talking about this yesterday, <clears throat> and honestly, uh, Susie doesn't really wear makeup either very often. Um, hardly ever and we both have uh girls that we prefer makeup less maybe it's because we're just learning to see them more like that but like that puts on a lot of makeup and i'm like okay well and and here's the thing that i realized every time i looked at nat today i thought and this thought that went through my the back of my mind is i was kind of waiting for her to take it off like uh, I'm glad she'll take that off at the end of the day. She looked beautiful, and I, of course, you know, I think she's beautiful, but I really do find her more attractive without the makeup, and Eric thinks the same of Susie. So I wonder how often are there girls out there wearing makeup because they think their guy wants it, and he doesn't? I don't know. Maybe that's just us. Who knows? I don't know. Yeah, but I love you. I think you are beautiful. <laughs> Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, come back tomorrow if you liked it. Okay, uh, subscribe and share. Good night. If you liked it, subscribe. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you liked it, comment.